Gold is a conductive precious metal which is present in most electronics today. And with the power of chemistry and some elbow grease it's possible to separate and refine the gold into something really special. And today I've decided to mutilate my old laptop on which I've played mostly Minecraft. It may not look like it but it's really old and for some reason it doesn't work so I doubt it I could sell it. Still though I think it's a really interesting chemistry project. So I started the disassembly of the computer. Okay so here's the hard drive. First I started to collect everything that looked like it was gold. Now what's this? I think that there's actually some gold on these connectors as you said. Alright, so now we got to the meat of the computer and now we can disassemble it. Alright, so now I'm pretty close to unscrewing the motherboard and that's where most of the precious metals are. Right, so this is it. We've got the brain of the computer. I think this is some copper and now where's the CPU because that's where the gold is. Oh, there it is. Okay, so here we're yanking it. <laughs> the CPU on average contains the most gold out of any of these parts because its pins are either fully golden or just coated in it. So after extracting everything that seemed worthwhile I've procrastinated on this project for like 4 months and finally I've built up enough courage to try doing some gold chemistry. So first of all all of this stuff in the jar has a bunch of other trace metals. Because as I said gold is extremely resistant, even an extremely oxidizing acid like nitric won't be able to dissolve it. However, we can use that to our advantage to purify the gold. Most of the trace metals here are going to be silver, copper, nickel and tantalum. There also may be some palladium if we're lucky, however palladium is really similar to platinum, which is really similar to gold. So it was most likely not dissolve along with the gold. Ok, so I've dumped everything into a beaker and now it's time to acid wash it. Some water was added and then it was followed with a bunch of nitric acid. Immediately a reaction started occurring, however even though nitric acid is extremely powerful it's still reacting relatively slow. So I'll help it by turning on the heat. The blood red gas here is coming from the reaction of nitric acid dissolving some of the metals. Once the heat was turned on the intensity of the nitric acid started ramping up along with it. At some point I was thinking I was going to run out of metal faster than I would run out of the acid, it almost completely fumigated my room and killed most of the annoying summertime mosquitoes. Which is actually a really good thing. Looking from the top we can see the beautiful gold chunk swimming along the top. Eventually so much salt was created that it started crashing out of the solution creating a metal salt slurry. Once I deemed the purification step more or less complete I've added a bunch of water into it to redissolve the metal salts. So I've poured off the extra water and now let's proceed to actually dissolving the gold. Here we'll be making some royal water also known as aqua regia. It's a mixture of two really strong acids nitric and hydrochloric which when working together are able to dissolve the gold. So first I've added some hydrochloric acid and then added some nitric. When nitric acid was acting alone it was attacking the gold molecules to form gold 3 plus ions. This may be hard to understand but even though they are ions they are still just a single element. So they just go back to the gold piece. However now since hydrochloric acid is present the gold 3 plus ions can now be attacked further by hydrochloric acid to produce something called chlorooric acid. Chloro being from chlorine from hydrochloric acid, auric from gold and acid from the acidic hydrogen. This is a water soluble form of gold and once the reaction is done it will be possible to get some really cool gold salts out of it. With that being said I've turned on the heating and I've waited for it to dissolve. And meanwhile I've went to play some Fortnite. So now that the gold is in the solution all we have to do is separate the liquid out of the solid and for that I've set up a simple gravity filtration. The filter paper was of course washed with water to recover as much gold as possible. So now that we have a clear solution, let's precipitate out the gold. So to precipitate out the gold, I've made a sodium metabite sulfide solution. And I've added it to the liquid. Oh my god, it's gold. No, wait, it's gone. What the fuck? So I've tried again and again and it kept redissolving. And something just snapped in me. So I've decided to start adding a bunch of sodium carbonate to neutralize the leftover acid because I was tired of being gassed by sulfur dioxide, which is an extremely irritating gas. The sodium carbonate made it overflow like 3 times because there was just so much acid. Like Jesus Christ I'm so stupid, why did I add so much acid? Yeah anyway now we're at the point where I've run out of hydrochloric acid because to be fair when I started this I've had like 20 mils. I've run out of the acid because I was trying to correct the pH because I was tired of the carbonate so I wanted with the hydroxide. But hydroxide almost always overshoots the pH so I've wasted my 5 mils of additional hydrochloric acid. So I've started using sulfuric acid to knock the pH down and I must legally say that sulfuric 
giving us it than their 15% percent e and now we're here. So I just kind of gave up and added a bunch of sodium hydroxide to precipitate the gold out as cold hydroxide. So anyway, I'll be actually knocking the gold out of the solution in the next part and then I'll be making a cute little orb with it. So for now though, that's everything, see ya. Hey you, yeah you, Russian Blue is coming to Discord. You, you should, should join my Discord server now! now.